Welcome to Discover Daily by Perplexity, an AI-generated show on tech, science, and culture. I'm Ali. Today we're exploring a medical milestone, a man who survived with a titanium heart for 100 days in a world-first procedure. But first, let's look at what else is happening across the tech and AI landscape. Meta has launched Community Notes, a crowdsourced content moderation feature, on Facebook, Instagram, and threads in public beta. This system aims to replace third-party fact-checking and foster a less biased information environment by enabling users to add context to posts. Community Notes represents a significant shift in Meta's approach to content moderation. Unlike the previous fact-checking system, Notes will not affect post visibility or content prioritization in users' feeds. The system aims to be less biased by incorporating more diverse perspectives, with note authors' identities remaining hidden to focus on content quality rather than authorship. Meta says its initial rollout will be carefully monitored, with notes not immediately visible to the public during the beta phase. The company also claims it will evaluate key metrics such as latency, coverage, and effects on content viewership to guide future refinements. Meta is using X's open source algorithm as the foundation for its rating system, with plans to improve it over time for their specific platforms. Moving on to our next story, Anthropic CEO Dario Amode has sparked debate in the AI community by proposing the idea of giving AI models an I quit this job button. This provocative suggestion raises questions about AI autonomy, ethics, and the potential for machine consciousness in advanced language models. Amade's proposal aims to explore whether advanced AI models have genuine experiences or preferences. The idea is to implement a basic preference framework in AI deployment environments. If models frequently opt out of certain tasks, it could indicate discomfort or dissatisfaction. This concept challenges traditional views of AI as mere tools without agency. While Amade admits this idea might sound crazy, it represents a practical attempt to grapple with profound questions about AI consciousness and ethics. Critics argue that true AI autonomy requires more complex governance mechanisms, and implementing such a feature could have significant implications for businesses relying on AI systems. Now let's dive into our main story of the day. In a significant medical achievement, an Australian man in his 40s has become the first person to survive for 100 days with an artificial titanium heart before successfully receiving a donor heart transplant. The groundbreaking procedure involved the Bivacor Total Artificial Heart, or TAH. This titanium device sustained the man's life for over three months, allowing him to become the first person ever discharged from the hospital with a fully artificial heart in February 2025. The patient was treated at St. Vincent's Hospital in Australia where a team of medical professionals carefully monitored his progress throughout this pioneering journey. The patient's journey culminated in early March 2025 when he received a donor heart transplant, marking a significant milestone in medical history. According to reports, the man is recovering well post-transplant, demonstrating the potential of this innovative technology to bridge the gap for patients awaiting heart transplants. The Bivacor Total Artificial Heart represents a significant advancement in heart failure treatment technology. Developed by Australian bioengineer, Dr. Daniel Timms, this device is the first fully implantable rotary blood pump designed to replace a human heart. Unlike traditional artificial hearts, the Bivacor uses magnetic levitation technology to mimic natural blood flow, featuring only a single moving part, a magnetically levitated rotor, which reduces wear and tear and the risk of mechanical failure. The implantation procedure was a complex medical operation requiring extensive preparation and expertise from the surgical team. This breakthrough builds on decades of research into artificial heart technology and represents a significant leap forward in the field of cardiac medicine. Currently, the Bivacor is designed as a bridge to transplant, helping patients survive until a donor organ becomes available. This recent success has surpassed previous US trials where the longest survival time before transplant was 27 days. Heart failure is a global health challenge affecting millions of people worldwide with donor hearts in critically short supply. The successful 100-day trial of the Bivacor artificial heart represents a significant breakthrough in addressing this gap between need and availability. 
Professor Chris Hayward from the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute called the trial a game changer, suggesting that within the next decade, artificial hearts could become a viable alternative for patients unable to wait for a donor heart or when one is unavailable. This development could potentially revolutionize treatment options for heart failure patients worldwide, offering hope where traditional transplants are not feasible. The Australian government has invested 50 million Australian dollars in this research, bringing together major universities and clinical partners. While the Bivacore heart currently serves as a temporary solution, some medical experts believe it could eventually become a long-term option for individuals ineligible for transplants due to age or health conditions. But further clinical studies are needed to confirm its potential as a permanent solution, with researchers aiming to make it as effective as, or potentially superior to, traditional heart transplants. This breakthrough in artificial heart technology represents a significant step forward in addressing the global shortage of donor hearts and improving the quality of life for heart failure patients. As research continues, we may see further advancements in this field, potentially leading to more accessible and effective treatments for millions of people worldwide. That's all for today's episode of Discover Daily. Our deep research feature, launched earlier this month, now analyzes hundreds of sources in minutes. Think of it as deploying a personal research team through our web and mobile platforms. This cutting edge tool combines autonomous reasoning with rapid processing to deliver comprehensive reports on specialized topics. Thanks for listening. We'll be back with more stories that shape our world. Until then, stay curious.